Welcome to Pediatrics and Neonatology. This video is about classic galactosemia. Congenital cataract in a child with galactosemia. Classic galactosemia is an autosomal recessive disease. It is due to deficiency of galactose 1-phosphate uridyl transferase and result in accumulation of galactose 1-phosphate in liver, kidney, brains and eyes. Symptoms appear within first week of life with the start of human, cow or formula milk. These include jaundice, hepatomegaly, vomiting, hypoglycemic seizures, lethargy, irritability, feeding difficulties, poor weight gain, cataract and vitreous hemorrhage. Other symptoms include hepatic failure, cirrhosis, ascites, splenomegaly, kidney damage, Increased risk of E. coli sepsis in neonates and pseudotumor cerebri can also occur and this can cause a bulging fontanel. Now symptoms are milder and improve when the milk is temporarily withdrawn and replaced with intravenous glucose or lactose free diet. Next include long term complications of galactosemia. These include developmental delay or regression, mental retardation impaired motor function and balance, learning disabilities, speech disorder and blindness, poor growth, osteopenia and fractures, ovarian failure and amenorrhea. Now the diagnosis. Number 1. There is presence of reducing substances in urine, that is Klinitex or Benedict test is positive, while Klinitex test is negative. Thin layer chromatography on urine samples reveals galactose. Direct enzyme assay using erythrocyte establish the diagnosis. There is increased concentration of galactose 1-phosphate in the erythrocytes. Number 6. Mutation analysis. N3145 mutation reveals durate variant. 50% of the enzyme activity in this case and there are no signs and symptoms. S135L mutation is a milder disease. Q188R is a severe form and K285N is also a severe form. Now next supportive test are hypoglycemia. Blood culture for E. coli liver function test reveals increased serum bilirubin, ALT, AST, decreased serum albumin, prolonged PT and APTT. Renal function test in Fenconi syndrome there is amino acid urea. Liver biopsy reveals fatty infiltration, pseudo SNI or micronodular cirrhosis. CT scan and MRI brain may reveal pseudotumor cerebri. Now the treatment of galactosemia. First treatment of any acute problem. Intravenous 10% dextrose water 5 ml per kg for hypoglycemia. Antibiotics for E. coli sepsis. Liver failure management, kidney failure management. Long-term treatment of galactosemia, elimination of lactose from the diet for lifelong, avoid human, cow or formula milk, non-lactose containing milk, casein hydrolysis and soybean based formula can be given. Avoid butter, cream, cheese, yogurt, milk, chocolate, sweets, milk biscuits and pancakes. Also avoid beets, corn, spinach and peas. Avoid organ meat such as liver, kidney and brain. Avoid legumes, beans, cherries, plums, melons, peaches, avocado and figs. Oils from nuts and seeds can be used as this is lactose free. Rice milk and cream and almond milk can be used. Other treatment include vitamin D and calcium supplements. Ophthalmology consultation for lensectomy and eye glasses. Management of cirrhosis or chronic kidney disease. Frequent follow-ups and parent and child counseling. Now prognosis of classic galactosemia. If the diagnosis is made early and milk and milk products are strictly avoided, the prognosis is for a relatively normal life. Despite strict avoidance of galactose, mild intellectual impairment may still occur. Okay friends, thanks for watching. Please like, share, comment and subscribe to my YouTube channel for more informative health related videos.